Wednesday Night Warzone kicks off with a women's world title qualifier as Tia Duke, Marie Gardet, and Eve Preston battle it out. As to be expected, Duke and Gardet focused heavily on each other, allowing Preston to pick her moments and almost get the win on a multitude of occasions. However, as the match was coming to an end, chaos ensued. Eileen Beck was getting dragged onto the stage by Sky Simmons. Eve, wanting to show her commitment to the Alliance, ran out of the ring to help, allowing Garde to capitalize with a steel chair and a pile driver to Tia Duke to claim the first spot in the women's title match. After the bell, Sky and Eve stared down before Sky walked to the back. Sky, can we get a comment on why you cost Eve the match? I didn't cost her anything. Up next, Timo Schreiber looks to continue his dominant run against Gene Jackson. Despite the clear confidence, Timo was in for a tougher fight than he first fought, with Gene going in with strikes, trying to take the big man down. Gene almost got the win, but Timo was able to pick up another victory. But as Timo celebrated, he could feel eyes on him. I came to EPW to compete with some of the best, and not just to compete, to beat them. And since Europe's finest, it feels like everyone has been ducking me, and I mean everyone. Derek chose Sabian Grace, the easier opponent. Jeff is too busy dealing with Bullet and guys who don't even wrestle here. WCD are too busy stroking their egos, and that leaves me where? In catering? Now, I'll tell you what, by the end of the night, I'm finding a guy, and I'm caving their skull in. This next match was shocking to say the least. Sierra came down ready for a fight, but was immediately caught in the Valley's welcome, and Tori Manson walked out with a win in seconds. Tori gloated and paraded around, only to get blindsided by Luna Olsen. It was obvious that the assault a few weeks ago messed with the psyche of Luna, and this new version was hell-bent on revenge. Then, on the ramp, stood the mad doctor, Victor Psychosis, who delivered a proclamation. Sunshine Valley. I hope you're ready to finish what you started. You wanted a war? You've got one. By design, all out war. We now know that it'll be Cyrell Dawn and Marie Gardet taking up two of the spots that by design, but we still have one more triple threat lined up, and once again, after talking to Ace and Avros, I can confirm nothing. Because my pick, Eileen Beck, is medically unclear thanks to Sky. Well, that's an unfortunate situation. But we still have to have this match, so do you have anyone else planned out? You're very calm about this. Did you set Sky up to do this? Why would I jeopardize my own division, Mr. Fulton? I don't know! Maybe you're like everyone else around here, and you want me to be constantly paranoid. I refuse to choose another participant, so I demand that the match be scrapped. The board won't allow that, so it's either you choose a replacement, or I'll get the board to choose one for next episode. Fine! Let the board have their fun. Oh, I realise, I didn't even get to announce the confirmed entrance. So next episode, it will be Bianca Lawson versus Jody Grimes versus a mystery third entrant. Winner claims the final spot at By Design. True talent make their way to the ring, but before their opponents can commotion occurs backstage. Marshall Henry is attacking Danny Wells, making good of his promise earlier tonight. But to make things worse, Jason Anderson is attacking Evan Wilder, and Oscar Ronson is attacking Chase Collins. American Strong Style have been ambushed. True Talent go to help, but they're ambushed by WCD. It, it's chaos. Another moment of carnage that throws out a number one contenders match. And just when you think things can't get any worse, Oscar Harrison wasn't too happy about Devin's debut last episode, and so he starts a brawl. But he might have bitten off more than he can chew, as Devin is able to get the upper hand and forces Oscar to back off. Okay, 
this is madness. But what, what do I expect? When management can't work together, what hope does the roster have of living in harmony? But enough about that. What just happened with the tag division is unacceptable, and there's only one way to solve it. By design, fatal four-way for the EPW World Tag Team Championships. WCD, True Talent, American Strong Style, and The Standard. But my decisions don't just end there. Next episode, we will see Danny Wells take on Marshall Henry in the start of a best of five series. The winner will receive a future title shot of their choosing. If Ace won't deal with this chaos, I will. Anyways, let's just get on to the main event. 